Hello ladies and gentlemen, PH here, and today I'm with the Luxor. This is a reel from the 1950s that my cousin sent me. He wanted to see if I could slam some McNasties with it. So I came to the pond. Every place is frozen up. This one got a little bit thawed out on the edge here. I don't know if I'll be able to catch anything, but let's see if you could do it with the Luxor. My cousin also sent me in these power bait power hogs, so I'm gonna give this a whirl. All right, let's see how the Luxor could do. It's not open too much, but I'm gonna give it a go. I don't know if we'll be able to pop anything because the ice needs to get melted out further but it's getting there guys I guess I could try casting this right up against the side here oh that man did myself in slush <laughs> I don't know if anything's out over here. Oh! Got something! Oh, drag! Oh! Oh, it's a nice one! It's a bass! I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him, guys. the Luxor did it <laughs> look at that oh, look at that <laughs> oh, I'm happy look at that guys the Luxor did it let's take a look at this guy up close hope you could see him the Luxor got a beauty here. Holy smokes, he got a beauty, that Luxor reel. Guess it doesn't matter when your reels and equipment's from the 1950s. That's a fatty. Let's let him go. Time to let this beauty go. Whew. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, he just nabbed something out of the water, a little fish. Hope you guys seen that. Haha, <laughs> that was awesome. Here we go, a cut in half easy shiner when they get ripped. You cut them in half, use them like this on a smaller jig and they still work like beauties. Now let that sink. So far this is casting like a beauty. No tangles. Nothing. I've been fishing for a while. Only problem is I only got one fish. That's about it. Let's give this a go. A new spot. See if we can get anything here. Water looks real dirty because we got water coming in. Gonna cast up against the side here. Alright, I came to this spot but cast it out past these weed things sticking up in the water.
I never seen a bat flying in the daytime. Did you see that, guys? That's a bat flying in the daytime. What the hell? Things are getting strange. You don't know how many lures I've been trying, guys. I've been trying every freaking thing. God, this Luxor casts really, really good. Listen to that. It's got the awesome drive train. The reel's working like a charm. But there's nothing to be had. Got something finally. Don't fall off. <laughs> Woo! Two for the day. Holy crow, he wolfed it. Look at that. Thank you for biting. I've been fishing all day for you, buddy. You do feel cold. Let's let him go. Beauty. Oh, two birds just fell in the water. Did you see that? They're them uh, red winged blackbirds. That's the record catch of the year. Nothing's popping the spoons. Oh, something popped the spoon as I said it. Holy God, it's a McNasty. Drag's going. If I could get him in. Oh, he's gonna, oh, he's a strong one. Oh. Oh, that was a big beauty. Holy crow, the Luxor. Old fashioned, but did the job. Whew. Check out that. Oh, oh, stay still. Let me get my tool. <sighs> Look at that. McNasty. Let me get a picture of this beauty here. There he is. Hope you could see him. McNasty beauty. Let's let him go. Whew. Goodbye, brother. That was a nice one. Look what that McNasty did to my lure. He <laughs> darn scuffed it up. Beauty. Let's go see if we get any more. All right, guys and gals, that's it for me. I lost my nice spoon on a snag. But the Luxor reel worked really good. I can't wait to give it another try and hammer the hell out of it somewhere else. I got that nice big bass and that medium sized one and a nice big pickerel. It was a beauty. It held up nice. I need to put more string on it though. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it as always. Leave me a thumbs up if you could. Comment will be awesome. Hit that bell so you don't miss my future videos. And PH, we'll see you next time.